Upon a lofty throne I saw a man seated, whom a host of angels adore, singing in unison, Behold him, the name of whose empire is eternal. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Upon a lofty throne I saw a man seated, whom a host of angels adore, singing in unison, Behold him, the name of whose empire is eternal. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. Welcome you to this Facebook Live Mass Friday in the first week in Ordinary Time, which we're offering for the repose of the soul of Elizabeth Francis. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her. May she rest in peace. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You come in word and in sacrament to strengthen us and make us holy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And you will come again in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what must be done, and gain strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Be careful. The promise of reaching the place of rest God had for the Israelites still holds good. And none of you must think that he has come too late for it. We received the good news exactly as they did. But hearing the message did them no good because they did not share the faith of those who listened. We, however, who have faith, shall reach a place of rest, as in the text. And so in anger I swore that not one would reach the place of rest I had for them. God's work was undoubtedly all finished at the beginning of the world, as one text says, referring to the seventh day. After all his work, God rested on the seventh day. The text we are considering says, they shall not reach the place of rest I had for them. We must therefore do everything we can to reach this place of rest, or some of you might copy this example of disobedience and be lost. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Never forget the deeds of the Lord. Never forget the deeds of the Lord. The things we have heard and understood, the things of our fathers have told us, we will not hide from their children, but will tell them to the next generation the glories of the Lord and his might, and the marvellous deeds he has done. Never forget the deeds of the Lord. They too should arise and tell their sons, that they too should set their hope in God, and never forget God's deeds, but keep every one of his commands. Never forget the deeds of the Lord so that they might not be like their fathers, a defiant and rebellious race, a race whose heart was fickle, whose spirit was unfaithful to God. Never forget the deeds of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. A great prophet has appeared among us. God has visited his people. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. 
When Jesus returned to Capernaum, word went round that he was back, and so many people collected there that there was no room left even in front of the door. He was preaching the word to them when some people came bringing him a paralytic carried by four men. But as the crowd made it impossible to get the man to him, they stripped the roof over the place where Jesus was, and when they had made an opening, they lowered the stretcher on which the paralytic lay. Seeing their faith, Jesus said to the paralytic, My child, your sins are forgiven. Now some scribes were sitting there, and they thought to themselves, How can this man talk like that? He is blaspheming. Who can forgive sins but God? Jesus, inwardly aware that this is what they were thinking, said to them, Which do you have, Why do you have these thoughts in your hearts? Which of these is easier? To say to the paralytic, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Get up, pick up your stretcher, and walk. But to prove to you that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he said to the paralytic, I order you, get up, pick up your stri stretcher, and go off home. And the man got up, picked up his stretcher at once, and walked out in front of everyone, so that they were all astounded, and praised God, saying, We have never seen anything like this. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Moses had tried to get the people to stay true to God so they might enter their rest. Today we will pray for the faithful departed that they may enter their eternal rest. May the divine assistance remain with us always, and may the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. That first letter to the Hebrews gives us a little opportunity to think more deeply on the Sabbath rest. Firstly, why do we rest on Sundays and not Saturdays? The Sabbath was Saturday, the day God rested after completing his creation. As Jesus' mission comes to a completion on Good Friday, he rests in the tomb on Holy Saturday. And then as Jesus passes over from death into life, the Sabbath passes over with him to Sunday, which becomes the eighth day, or more accurately, the first day of the week of the new restored creation. And so we spend Sundays in recreation. We literally use the Lord's Day to recreate ourselves in the image and likeness of God. And we come to Mass ordinarily to give thanks for our recreation, our recreation, as a child of God. And although the Sunday obligation to hear Mass is suspended at the moment due to the global pandemic, the obligation to rest remains, and we should keep the Lord's Day holy in whatever way we can. Just as the Hebrew people defiled themselves by worshipping idols, we should be careful not to worship in the commercial temples on a Sunday. We should never confuse earthly happiness with the eternal blessedness that is to come. Losing this rest is the only thing we should really fear. Therefore, on Sunday, only essential work should be entered into. In the language of today's pandemic, those key workers who keep us safe and secure. By entering into God's rest in this life, on the Sabbath, we already begin to imitate the life of God. Our Sabbath rest begins to form serenity and interior peace, which will be experienced in its fullness in the beatitude of heaven. Eternal rest grant unto the holy souls, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them, May they rest in peace. And peace is the assurance of divine friendship, proclaimed to us by Jesus on the day of the resurrection, as he greets the disciples in the upper room. Peace be with you, and with your spirit.
saying, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May your people's oblation, O Lord, find favour with you, we pray, that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly entreat. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it in you. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy he, holy he, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Richard, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Throw a heaven with a pen and a heaven, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope 
and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, though not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. With you, O Lord, is the fountain of life, and in your light we see light. Let us pray. Humbly we ask your almighty God to be gracious, graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments may also serve with lives pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Uh, I've put the newsletter up for the weekend already. It's been a very frustrating week trying to get uh, the heating engineers to resolve the problems. Uh, we still haven't got to a re resolution yet, although we have taken a step clearer. We now know what is actually wrong. That's obviously a good thing. Uh, I'm not going to be driving over from Seaford tomorrow, Saturday, um, to celebrate uh, a live stream mass. Um, Father Rajesh and I are going to celebrate the Saturday intentions privately uh, in the house in Seaford uh, so I can take a, a personal day. I've got a few things I need to, to do and I haven't been able to do that for a while. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. <laughs>